Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tammy. Welcome back to our video tutorial series on beginning Sprite Kit. In this part of the series, you'll learn how to make your game work on different devices, meaning one universal app supported on different screen sizes. This video is optional, so there's going to be no code, it's just theory. If you want to skip it, feel free and I'll see you in the next video. Zombie Conga was designed with a base size of 2048 by 1536, with the scale mode set to Aspect Fill. Aspect Fill instructs SpriteKit to scale the scene's content to fill the entire screen, even if SpriteKit needs to cut off some of the content to do so. This means that things will appear as is on the iPad Retina, which has a resolution of 2048 by 1536, but scaled and cropped on the iPhones in order to fit the iPhone's smaller size and different aspect ratio. Take a closer look at how this looks for the rest of the devices. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll wait here while you look. So as you saw, Aspect Fill will crop the scene at the top and the bottom for the iPhones. That being the case, you'll need to define the playable area for the game. That is, the area that's guaranteed to be visible on all devices. We'll do that in the next video. Basically, Zombie Conga will have 192 pixel margin at the top and the bottom. So therefore, you'll need to avoid putting any essential content into that margin. The good news about doing it this way is that you only need one set of artwork in order for this to work. In this case, the art is fit to the maximum screen size of 2048, or excuse me, 2048 by 1536, and on the smaller sizes, it will need to be downscaled. Yes, there are cons to this method, such as having bigger art for older devices, which means wasting some texture memory. But honestly, the simplicity of this approach far outweighs the negative impact of texture memory. And really, it's only an issue on older devices. So that's it for this video tutorial, where you learn the basics behind creating a universal app. The next step is to put this knowledge to use, which is what we'll do in the next video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.